Let's kick things off with the mushrooms that will ruin your picnic, but maybe not your entire life, and work our way up to the fungi you should definitely run from. Some of these look suspiciously like the ones in your local grocery store, so pay close attention unless you're feeling adventurous, and not in a good way. Number 10. The Brown Roll Rim The brown roll rim might sound like a fancy pastry you'd order with coffee, but this mushroom is anything but delicious. It looks innocent enough and is often mistaken for edible mushrooms. In some parts of Europe, people actually used to eat these until they realized it could kill them. That's right, this mushroom was once considered a delicacy. Imagine biting into your favorite dish, only to realize years later it's been slowly setting up a biological booby trap in your system. The fun thing about the brown roll rim is that it doesn't always kill you right away. No, this mushroom is more subtle. Instead, it builds up toxins in your body over time. You could eat it a few times and be fine. Until one day, your immune system flips out, and bam, you've got yourself some deadly autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Doesn't that sound like a party? And what makes it even worse? Symptoms can be sneaky, starting with mild stomach discomfort or nausea that you might brush off as bad digestion, or maybe a questionable burrito. But over time, the toxins build up, turning your immune system into its own worst enemy. Think of it as your body launching a sneak attack on itself thanks to a harmless mushroom. A slow burning kind of betrayal. Oh, and here's an extra kicker for you. In some cases, the immune system doesn't just cause anemia, it completely destroys red blood cells. Yep, it's like your bloodstream suddenly declares a full-blown civil war and the battle won't end in your favor. Maybe stick to the cinnamon rolls, folks. Number 9. Poison Fire Coral This next one could have come straight from the set of a horror movie. The Poison Fire Coral is one of the rarest but deadliest mushrooms you can find in Asia, particularly in Japan and Korea. And as if the name didn't give it away, it looks like a little coral reef on land, innocent enough to trick you into thinking it's a friendly forest decoration. It's almost pretty, in a deadly this thing will kill you kind of way, but oh no, it's far from friendly. The poison fire coral doesn't just cause your run of the mill mushroom poisoning with nausea and vomiting. Nope, this one really turns up the heat. We're talking multiple organ failure, hair loss if you survive long enough to notice, and even brain shrinkage. Yes, you heard me right, brain shrinkage. It's like a bad science experiment happening in your body. If that's not enough to scare you off, it also causes a burning sensation when ingested, hence the name fire coral. Imagine eating something that literally burns through your body from the inside out. Unless you're actively looking for an extreme makeover that even the worst spa couldn't offer, avoid this one like, well, fire. Just for fun, let's throw in another horrifying fact. Even just touching the poison fire coral can be dangerous. It's been linked to terrifying neurological symptoms that can lead to confusion and paralysis. So, if you're strolling through an Asian forest and spot something that looks like it belongs in the ocean, run! Number 8. Fly Agaric Perhaps the most popular mushroom on this list, the fly agaric is the mushroom that just screams, Hey, I'm magical! From children's storybooks to cartoons and video games, this little red and white beauty is the quintessential fantasy mushroom. You half expect to see an elf or fairy taking a nap under it. But don't let the fairy tale looks fool you. This mushroom can really ruin your day. Or your brain. The fly agra contains bioactive compounds that can send you into a world of confusion, hallucinations, and seizures. You'll be seeing things that aren't there, hearing things that aren't real, and thinking you're somewhere you definitely aren't. It's like going on the world's worst acid trip. Fun fact. In Siberia, shamans actually used fly agaric in rituals, believing it would help them communicate with spirits. So if your dream was to become a mushroom-induced spiritual medium, this could be your ticket, though I wouldn't recommend it. And just when you think you've seen it all, here comes the grand finale, a coma. Some unfortunate souls don't wake up from that last part. While the fly agaric isn't the deadliest mushroom out there, it's one that could make you question your sanity, literally. So next time you see this classic mushroom, maybe resist the urge to reenact a scene from your favorite fantasy video game. Number 7. Deadly Dapperling 
The deadly dapperling sounds like it belongs in a murder mystery novel, doesn't it? You think it's harmless, but just like the villain who's been hiding in plain sight, it'll ruin your life if given the chance. Unlike the vibrant and flashy fly agaric, this mushroom is much more subtle in appearance, which makes it even more dangerous. The dapperling looks a lot like some of the edible species people like to forage, like the grey knight or fairy ring mushrooms. But looks can be deceiving. You might accidentally pick it along with your dinner mushrooms. And let's just say that'll be your last homemade meal. Back in 2010, an entire family of four tragically died after consuming this mushroom. Once ingested, it's like the dapperling launches a full-scale attack on your gastrointestinal system. It starts with nausea and stomach cramps, but quickly escalates to full liver destruction. If you're not near a hospital or don't realize what you ate in time, things go from bad to worse in a hurry. And if that wasn't enough, the dapperling often grows in places you wouldn't expect, like grassy fields, parks, and even your own garden. It's sneaky like that. Keep an eye out next time you're mowing the lawn. Number 6. Fool's Cone Cap Meet the Fool's Cone Cap, another mushroom that looks harmless but is anything but. This mushroom is common in the Pacific Northwest, where it casually grows in flower beds and on decaying wood chips, blending in like it's supposed to be there. It's the kind of mushroom you could walk past without giving it a second thought. The Fool's Cone Cap might look like it's just minding its own business, but don't let that fool you. This mushroom contains some nasty toxins found in the infamous Destroying Angel and Death Cap. That's right, it's rolling with the big leagues of deadly fungi. What makes this mushroom particularly cruel is its patience. After you eat it, you might feel fine for a good 6 to 24 hours, long enough to think you've gotten away with it. Meanwhile, the toxins are having a quiet party in your liver and kidneys, plotting their hostile takeover. It starts slow. You might feel a little abdominal discomfort, but then the real horror show begins. The toxins attack your liver and kidneys with precision. And if you're not rushed to a hospital, you might find yourself on the express train to organ failure. And here's the kicker, there's no antidote. If you don't catch it early, you're left at the mercy of whatever is left of your liver. Oh, and did I mention this mushroom has a track record of poisoning people who mistook it for a perfectly edible species? Just one mix-up while foraging, and you've turned your weekend hike into a medical emergency. Number 5. Destroying Angels Now we're getting to the mushrooms that don't just end lives, they do it with flair. The destroying angels are a whole family of deadly mushrooms that look as pure as snow. They're all white and at a glance, they might seem like an innocent addition to your foraging basket. But make no mistake, these are the wolves in sheep's clothing of the mushroom world. In the 1780s, French naturalists gave the destroying angels a far more polite name, fool's mushrooms. It sounds almost charming, like something you'd find in a children's fairy tale. Fast forward to today, and these guys have earned their much more accurate title. They're not just fooling people, they're taking lives. One bite of this pretty white mushroom, and within 5 to 24 hours, you'll be violently vomiting. Think that's the worst part? Nope, that's just phase one. Next, the real fun begins. You'll experience seizures, hallucinations, and eventually total organ failure. And here's the best part. By the time symptoms show up, the damage to your liver and kidney is already in full swing. If you're lucky enough to get treatment in time, you might still need a liver transplant to survive. For added irony, destroying angels often grow in places where you might think it's safe to forage, near parks or even in your own backyard. So if you see a cute little white mushroom growing among the daisies, you might rethink that nature salad. Number 4. False Morel False morels are like the evil twin of their more famous and delicious cousin, the true morel. Hunters prize real morels for their rich, meaty flavor. But the false morel has other plans for you. Deadly ones. With its brain-like cap and innocent, creamy stem, it's designed to fool even seasoned mushroom foragers. The toxin inside the false morel is one you definitely don't want inside your body. Gyomitrin. And when this nasty compound breaks down, it turns into something that, believe it or not, is used in rocket fuel. Yes, rocket fuel. So unless you've got NASA-grade intestines, this mushroom will send you to the emergency room, not the moon. But don't worry, you won't go out with a bang. It'll be a much slower, much more painful experience. Symptoms start mild, like nausea and abdominal discomfort. But then the liver damage kicks in. It can even cause problems with your central nervous system. 
turning what was supposed to be a tasty mushroom hunt into a slow march toward the ER. Number 3. Webcaps Ah, the webcaps. These guys are the ninjas of the mushroom world. They don't just kill you, they do it silently and slowly. You might not even know what's wrong until weeks after you've eaten one. That's right, weeks. These mushrooms are so sneaky that it can take up to three weeks for symptoms to show, which makes them one of the trickiest fungi to diagnose. The toxin that makes webcaps so dangerous is called orlanine, and it has a special affinity for your kidneys. It's like it's got a personal vendetta against them. Remember the English author Nicholas Evans? He and his family accidentally ate webcaps during a foraging trip in 2008. Spoiler alert, they all needed kidney transplants. Here's the worst part. By the time you start feeling sick, your kidneys are already toast. Orlanine doesn't care if you try to stay hydrated or flush it out of your system. Once it's in, it's in for the long haul. Without medical intervention and fast, you're looking at permanent kidney failure. There's no antidote, no magic cure. Just hope there's a kidney donor nearby. Number 2. Autumn Skullcap now, the autumn skullcap has some of the most unsettling nicknames in the mushroom world. Funeral bell, or deadly skullcap. You know, the kind of names that scream stay far away from me. With names like that, you'd think people would keep their distance, but no. Every year, unsuspecting foragers mistake these killers for edible mushrooms. The autumn skullcap's unassuming brown cap can easily be mistaken for more common and safe varieties. But... Unlike its edible lookalikes, this mushroom is packed with amatoxins, which go straight for your liver and kidneys like a hired assassin. Symptoms usually begin within hours of ingestion. Severe abdominal pain, bloody diarrhea, vomiting, you get the picture. But that's just the start. As the toxins spread, they systematically shut down your liver and kidney, leading to complete organ failure. Because, you know, why not add that to the mix? The worst part, there's no antidote. And the only way to survive in most cases is a liver transplant. If you ever see a mushroom growing in clusters around rotting conifer wood, give it a wide berth. This isn't one to mess with, unless you're really into playing medical roulette. Number 1. Death Cap Mushroom And now the one you've all been waiting for, the Death Cap. This mushroom is the heavyweight champion of deadly fungi. It doesn't just look like any ordinary edible mushroom. It's beautiful in its own way, which makes it even more terrifying. The death cap is responsible for more deaths than any other mushroom in history. The toxins in this mushroom are heat stable, so even if you cook it, it's still just as lethal. You'd think with a name like death cap, people would stay away, but its innocent appearance has fooled many, popes included. That's right, Pope Clement VII was one of its most famous victims, meeting his maker in 1534 after unknowingly dining on this deadly delicacy. And if a pope can't avoid the death cap, what chance do the rest of us have? Symptoms begin with excruciating pain, vomiting, and of course, diarrhea. But don't worry, this is just the warm-up act. Once the toxins fully settle in, they destroy your liver and kidneys. Without a timely liver transplant, you're as good as gone. And just to twist the knife a bit more, you might even experience a temporary recovery period where you think you're getting better before everything collapses. So when it comes to mushroom picking, if you see something that even remotely resembles a death cap, turn around fast.